Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Ridge Side. So in the last part we were very focused on quests. We still have more quests to do and we've just got another quest, thanks Clint. We're probably not going to work on that one, we don't really do vanilla quests all that much. Clint's attempt, I love the title of that. <laughs> but yeah, we're still working on our charity one of course, that's a long term quest. And we were working on our Skellington ones, which is technically a vanilla one, but it's worth it for the money I think. And obviously we still got the preparations one, but that one is <laughs> not on the radar right now. And the Shadow Brutes one is not a vanilla quest, so we should do that for Freddy. I do also really want to welcome my friendship with Freddy, to be honest. But yeah, in the last part, we spent like all of our money. I don't know how that happened, <laughs> but it's all gone. We have like 2000 to our name right now. But yeah, I want to spend a lot of time around the farm today. I want to get our Iridium sprinkler set up so that we can plant these winter seeds because we have one of these. And I also kind of want to get started on our ancient fruit in the greenhouse. So I think I need to start by like demolishing this. As pretty as it is, it's not that functional. <laughs> I want to be able to fit two Iridium sprinklers worth of crops here. So I think if I put one there and then one there, it should fit. Yeah. So I don't actually have to demolish all of it, just like a little bit. Yeah, I think this could work. So let's just demolish, um, I guess this on the floor. How long do I still have for the skeletons, actually? Two days. Okay. So we will have to go and do that at some point. And it is a good luck day, so maybe we should do that now. Yeah, I probably should. I'll plant these down and then we'll go and do the skeletons, I guess. I also really do need to upgrade my hoe at some point. It's still like basic level. It would be really fab to get some of the decorating for the farm done today, because I have been putting that off. Equally, we sort of need money for it. Okay, that's about all we can fit for now. I think I'm just going to sell the rest. Actually, someone in the comments told me to make seed packets into tea saplings. And with the tea saplings, you can actually put them down as like a hedge almost as a fence and they never die and they never like decay. You know how my fencing has been decaying a lot recently? Someone gave me that sound advice. So I think I might save those for that maybe. I don't actually think we have the tea sapling recipe yet. So we do need to befriend Caroline first, which is a bit of a chore, I won't lie. If they're not going to decay, that's pretty worth it. Okay, we only got two milks from the, from the barn today. That is pretty disappointing, I won't lie. We're up to how many milks now? Eight milks. Okay, it's a slow process, I won't lie to you. And I think we only got three eggs today, so we're not doing great. But we still got like 23 days left for this quest, so I'm not too worried. Oh, we got four. How many eggs do we have in total? We have 12 eggs in total. I'll do my ancient fruit later, but I think for now I'm going to head up to the mines. We only have one ancient seed. Huh. But do I have some ancient fruits that I can turn into the seed maker? I do! I have free ancient fruit. So do I have a seed maker though? Because I don't think I do. Do I have the way to make it? Oh, I can. We need a gold bar, coal and wood. Do we have a gold bar? We actually have a gold bar. We just need coal and wood so we can definitely make a seed maker already. Oh, hang on. Do we not have any wood? I think we might have spent it all. <laughs> How do we not have wood? That is like the easiest part of that whole recipe. Okay. It's fine, we can chop down a tree on our way to the mines and we'll try and get all these skelly boys. Oh my god, I've just noticed on the calendar that it's actually Caroline's birthday tomorrow. So we shouldn't forget that because we'll be able to get the tea sapling really quick if we gift her a loved gift. I don't know a loved gift for her though, to be honest. Even a liked gift should give us two hearts, right, on her birthday? We'll try, we'll try. What does she like? No clue. Okay, we can make our seed maker and we got a new achievement for that, the artisan achievement. Nice. Let's go and make these ancient fruit into ancient seed. And it is a good luck day, so hopefully that will bless us with the seed maker and we'll get loads of seeds from it. And the first one is the gold one. And we'll go and kill some skeletons whilst we're waiting. This floor has quite a few. Shouldn't take us too long, hopefully. Ooh, how many are we gonna get? Let's see. Oh, did we just get one? On a good luck day and from a gold quality? That's disappointing. I'm sad. <laughs> I'm ignoring it. Pretending it was more. That seed maker is doing us dirty, I swear. Oh my gosh, we just got the monster slayer goal for the skeletons. Nice! That's pretty good. We can go and pick up our reward for that. Okay, second ancient fruit, silver quality one. Two! Okay, so we've got three ancient fruits so far. And we got one more in the seed maker. And the final one... Gave us two? How did the gold quality one give us the least? That makes no sense. At least we didn't get mixed seed from any of them. <laughs> I'm gonna count myself lucky. Count my blessings. Oh, I think this is the last one we need actually for the quest. Let's see. Yay, we did it. Finally, we got 6,000 from that. That was so worth it. 
Yay, we're up to 8,000 now. And we finished the Gil quest as well. I think we should go quickly over to the Adventurers Guild and go and see what we got for our reward. I think it's like some skeleton mask. It's not that impressive. But still, we did it. We earned it. Hi, Gil. What you got for us? Oh, we have two things. The insect head and the skeleton mask. Wow. How good do we look with that on? Um, hmm. <laughs> Not sure about that one. <laughs> it's a bit creepy, actually. How are we doing with this then? Mm, we still got a lot to do. Let's face it. Bats are almost done. It's from that blooming bat quest we had to do, probably. <laughs> Duggies is like halfway. Only done cave insects and skeletons so far. Yeah, we still got a fair bit to do. I won't lie to you. Let's see if we can get any good swords. So steel falchion is what we have right now. That's the best we can get. Bone sword we could sell. And the insect head we could sell. Should I sell those maybe? I may as well. I don't think I've got much use for them. We're up to 8.8k, which is pretty good considering we started the day with just 2,000. I wonder if we could quickly go and slay 10 shadow brutes in one day to get 3,000 gold. Hmm, that could be kind of nice to round off the day. I don't think we can get 10 in one evening, but we can try. Can't blame a girl for trying, you know? Okay, I think that's a shadow brute, right? Let's see, did that count? Mm, it doesn't say. Is that not a shadow brute? Let me google what a shadow brute is so we're not wasting our time here. Oh, it seems like a shadow brute is only if they don't have that mask on. That one didn't technically count. Okay, that's good to know at least. <laughs> so can we get a shadow brute please? No, but it will give us a ladder and a ruby. I'll take it. I will honestly take that. Oh, and a boss slime. I'm intrigued. Give us a really nice weapon please. Okay, wow, some boots. Wow, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, literally, we already have better ones than that, but thanks. <gasps> There's one. Yay. Okay, we only have two left to get, but it's already midnight. So I might just go for a little tiny bit longer and see if we get them in time. I'm just like resetting floors right now. So this kind of pauses time anyway. Okay, there's one left now. Okay, can we get this last one? My health is really low as well. <laughs> I should probably eat cheese. There's one there. Okay, let's do it. Okay, we can do this. We can do it. Did we do it? I think we might have done. Let me kill this one for extra luck. Let's see. Did we get it? Yay, we just need to talk to Freddy. Heck yeah, we can do that tomorrow. Right, let's let's rush off. We need to collect our stuff first. We got a lot of stuff. We got a lot of gems. Honestly, going to the deeper levels gets you so many gems. Okay, let's head home now. We do have a little spell on us. We're jinxed, minus eight defense. Oh, that's sad. Okay, it's already gone. It's fine. We, we dealt with it. <laughs> we survived the mines and we did actually pretty well. Right, let's head to bed now. With our very full inventory, I should have sold things, but oh well. Sleep time. Oh, we sold our beers. We made 800 quid. That's pretty good. I'll take it. So we did. The shadow brutes, the skeletons, and planted winter seeds all in one day. We smashed it. Okay, so Caroline's birthday. What does Caroline like? Should I look it up? Ah, uh, I think I should. Listen, I'm a girl with a plan. I need to get this tea sapling recipe. Caroline, you're gonna get Googled, love. I'm not putting thought into this. I'm just Googling. <laughs> okay, she loves fish taco, green tea, tropical curry, and a summer spangle. Caroline, why'd you have to be so difficult? A light gift is a daffodil. Why has she got to love such difficult things? I don't think I have any of those. But we did get a plum pudding, so that's good at least. Let me check in my chest. Do I have a summer spangle? I highly doubt it. Oh, hi Pierre. Hello there, Lil. So your first year in Stardew is almost over, huh? If you keep buying seeds from me, you'll be twice as productive next year. Thanks. And I have some exciting news. I'll be selling new seed varieties in my shop next year. I should have one new variety per season. Yay. Bye, Pierre. Thanks for stopping by. You know, I wouldn't even bother trying my competitor's seeds. Yeah, sure you wouldn't. Okay, I'm skipping you now. Bye. <laughs> Okay, so we have six ancient seeds to plant. We should definitely plant those down. We do actually have a spangle seed, so we could make a summer spangle, but we don't have one. Do we have a flower? Or did I give them all away? We have some flowers. Yeah, we don't have any. That's so annoying. Um, We do have daffodils though, right? Yay, we have a daffodil. Okay, that's a liked gift. I think I'm just going to settle for that. I mean, I think that's enough. That should get us two hearts, right? I also might go and donate some of these things that we need to donate. We've got a couple things here. We also have the fiddlehead fern to donate to, so I might donate that. And since we're going to speak to Freddy, I may as well bring a pumpkin soup as well. What were Lola's loved gifts? They were lava lilies, right? Let's bring one of those. 
What mail do we have? Ooh, we got the Geode Crusher. Oh, that's from completing the Skellington quest. Nice. Thanks, Clint. Oh, we have a letter for the Festival of Ice. That's for tomorrow. Okay, we'll probably attend that. May as well. I want to get a cute sailor hat. <laughs> oh no, these ones are starting to decay now too. We really need to work on our hardwood supply so we can replace everything before spring. Okay, we have four new milks. Let's plop those in our chest. It's a very, very slow quest. <laughs> We're going so slowly through it. Okay, let's do our first ancient fruit. This is going to be the start of a whole ancient fruit farm. It's going to be beautiful. It really will be. Six seeds in the ground. Oh, I didn't even bring my watering can. So sad. <laughs> it's fine. They'll get watered tonight. Yay! Six whole ancient fruit seeds now. It is the start of our riches. A humble start to being filthy rich in Stardew. <laughs> Do you know what I really want to spend some money on? Coffee. I am so slow right now and I hate it. <laughs> I really need to spend some money on coffee. Should we go to Gus's and buy a load of coffee? Because honestly, it might be worth it at this point. I'm so slow. I can't deal with it. Does she have anything worth our while? Let's see. A battery pack. Ooh, that might be worth getting. Also, this green couch is so cute. I'll get the battery pack for sure. Should I buy the green couch? Is there anything else I need to buy today? No. I think we should get the green couch purely because we're about to be rich once we get our ancient fruit. So we deserve the couch preemptively, right? I think you all agree. You're all vigorously nodding your heads right now, right? I think so. I can feel it. I feel the yes energy. <laughs> right, where is Caroline today? Okay, she's just in... Pierre's right now so let's go drop in a little special surprise and give her a daffodil the daffodil of her dreams <gasps> wait we have a yuma cutscene that's exciting why hello there lil and what can i help you with today hi yuma excuse me miss would it be all right if i got ahead of you in line i'm in a hurry oh of course you're so small it's fine if you don't want to oh my gosh they're so polite of course you can go in front thank you kind miss oh here you go, Mr. Pierre. Why is he like the politest little person ever? I would like to purchase these, please. You don't have to be so formal now, Yuma. And whoa, this is a lot of stuff. Are you okay carrying all these by yourself? Why are you questioning his strength? It is no bother, sir. I can handle these. Yeah, Yuma can handle it. I believe in Yuma. Hmm, okay then. Don't pass judgment, Pierre. Just because you couldn't handle it. <laughs> Thank you. Aww. And thank you for letting me cut in line, Miss Lil. I really appreciate it. He's so sweet. What on earth? <laughs> Look at me with my skeleton mask right now. <laughs> that boy is always so busy. I've never seen him play with the other kids either. Aww. He comes around here every week to buy groceries. I wonder what's up with him. <gasps> we need to find out. We need to check if he's okay. Sweet little Yuma. Why did I come here again? <gasps> Our shrimp wallpaper. Oops mine now <laughs> um i think i came here to talk to caroline right let's go and do that excuse me george aren't you cold they don't make sweaters like they used to no i just <laughs> george just wanted to get through actually <laughs> oh caroline's in her room when does she leave when does caroline leave her room i need to look this up okay it's a sunday she doesn't move until 1 30 are you joking me caroline she's so annoying <laughs> even on her birthday Oh, Caroline. Okay, well, I guess we'll come back later because uh, I ain't waiting. I ain't waiting outside her room that entire time. We've got things to donate to the community center and to the museum, so that's fine. We'll do that instead. Caroline will come second today. Okay, I think all we have is like just the fern or something. Yeah, for the chef's bundle, we have the little fern. We should make these soon, actually. We can definitely do the mackie roll, the fried eggs. We shouldn't really do this season because we're saving them, but we could do them soon and let's go and donate these things to gunther i can't believe we've already played the whole first week of winter like this is going so quickly oh i should have bought my geodes as well i forgot about that oh well <gasps> we have a floor cutscene. hello oh my gosh okay are you all ready is this like 10 hearts or something <laughs> hmm what is it floor oh i'm sorry i was lost in thought um i'm actually trying to figure something out she's always in the library little cute head <laughs> Well, um, so, what is it? I've been inspired by recent publication about interactions between peers with the same interests. I want to explore a similar research question, but with different subjects. Okay, I'm following, I'm following just about. Come take a look at this. Okay, 
sure my expert opinion can help you here. So um, I plan to use a similar protocol, but instead of peers with the same interests, I'll have peers with different interests try to converse with one another. Okay. I'll tell them to find something to talk about, anything, but otherwise leave them alone and see how they start a conversation. How long will it take? Uh, what will they talk about? What if they don't talk at all? Would people rather sit in silence than talk about something superficial? <gasps> Interesting. I would not want to be part of that. That feels really awkward. <laughs> not a fun experiment for people with social anxiety, Floor. Oh, excuse me for a moment. Floor takes off her glasses. Oh, hello. <laughs> Aw, I get a migraine when I wear these for too long. Oh, Floor. I hope you're okay. So as I was saying, Floor goes into detail about the experiment she's planning. She seems nervous at first, as if she thinks she's boring you. But when you keep listening and then start asking questions, she gets more and more enthusiastic. Oh, that's so sweet. As she's explaining the trickier points of designing ethical social experiments, she locks eyes with you and, unusually for her, she doesn't immediately look away. Oh, my heart. You're struck by how vulnerable she seems. You're seeing her eyes without the barrier of her glasses. But more than that, you're seeing her passion, unchecked and unfiltered. <gasps> Floor, I want to give you a hug. Eventually, seeming to realize that she's making direct eye contact for a while, she trails off self-consciously and ducks behind her books again. Oh my gosh, I'll never go over how cute this picture is. Um, I'm sorry if I get carried away there. You never get carried away. You are so sweet. Please talk about your passions. I know that was a lot to unload on you when this isn't even your field. I mean, your field of expertise, not with the crops. She's so sweet. She's just turned around to me now. She's turned her back on me. <laughs> so, um, Lil, I, I was hoping you'd help me with my, my research. This research, I mean, oh my gosh, yes, I'll help, but um, I'm nervous. <laughs> I don't know anyone else well enough to ask them. So, but please, Lil, I mean, if it's not an imposition, of course not, we'll do it. You will? Thank you, Lil, I really appreciate this. Aww. You're literally our girlfriend, of course we're gonna help you. Floor smiles, relieved. I'll send you a letter when I've got all the forms and things ready. Perfect. I'm sorry for being so awkward. It's hard for me to tell when I'm overstepping, socially. I hope to see you soon, Lil. You will see me soon, Floor. Okay, Gunther. I would like to donate some things, please. Let's plop these all in. Okay, that's all we've got for now. Did we get any rewards? What do we have? Just some random stuff for decoration. That's fine. We'll leave it. Oh, Caroline. No, I don't think she's out yet. <laughs> Why does she stand there forever? Although, glasses should be open so I can buy some coffees now. I just want to make sure I still have time to go up and see Freddy. How many coffees can we even buy? Let's see. Let's get like 15. That will do us for a while. <laughs> that was a lot of money, actually. How much did I just spend? <laughs> Oops. Did I spend like thousands? Hi, Philip. You have fishing experience, right? Yes, we do. I'm worried about someone overexerting themselves and pulling something tomorrow. Oh, yeah, we've got the fishing thing tomorrow. Right, Caroline, please, babes, are you out yet? Please. She's still not out of her room. It must be very hard for Mel Lewis to organise the fishing event tomorrow. It's known that he doesn't like fish very much, does he not? Oh, I did not know that. I guess it's not known to everyone then. <laughs> Abby's leaving. Okay, half an hour to wait. We can wait. We got this. It's for her birthday, I guess. But we are wasting our coffee right now. Why did I have a coffee just before I was going to stand still? Good job, Lil. Such a good job you did there. Come on, Caroline. Okay, she's coming. Finally. Take my daffodil. You remember my birthday? Thank you. This is great. Did we only get one heart? Oh, well, you got to be joking me. One heart, Caroline. Is that all you could give me? I thought liked gifts gave you two hearts. I would like to cry now. Permission to cry, please. How close are we to the second heart? Means I actually have to care and bother giving her more gifts. Not even that close. Thank you, Caroline. It's fine. We can give her another gift tomorrow, maybe. Right, up to Freddy's. I do not think that was worth it. Also, this is a good luck day. We kind of wasted it. Is Freddy home? He is! Yay! Okay, let's go talk to him quickly. Hello. The elementals are pleased with your job you did. Here's your payments as promised. Yay! Did we get friendship as well? How much did we get? 3,000, right? Wait! I swear it said 3,000. Huh? Rasmodius Wizard? I'm confused now. It said 3,000 before, right? I'm so confused. Is that like bugged or something? It said 3,000. I've been cheated out of my money by Freddy. Freddy, why would you do this to me? I was relying on that. Huh. <sighs> Rude. 
I feel cheated. <laughs> I'm looking forward to tomorrow. The cold is hard on old bones though, so Lola and I will be all bundled up. Oh, that's so snuggly. So cute. Let's give you a pumpkin soup to keep you warm. Yay, he loves it. He loves a pumpkin soup. Where is Lola? Um, I can't see where she is at all. She's not in here. Oh, she's there. How did I not see her <laughs> hidden behind here? Six hearts. Oh, I think it's gone down a bit. That's a shame. I may be old, but I'm not weak. I believe you. I know people mean well, but I wish they'd stop offering to carry my shopping or some nonsense. Fair deuce, Lola. Well, we didn't get much money from Freddy. I'm kind of sad. <laughs> I thought we were getting a lot more than that, but that's fine, I guess. Oh no, I need to remember to bring things for torts. How do I keep forgetting? Torts must be freezing out here. Plans heist? Torts? You're planning a heist? I love him. I love him. Wholeheartedly, I love that turtle. Tortoise? Oh, I don't even know what he is. <laughs> I think a tortoise, right? Turtles go in the water, maybe. Hi, Jerick. Do you have anything good? Mix seeds? For a hundred each? No, babe. That's, uh, that's a bit expensive, actually. I can just get them from the ground. Is there anything else to do on Ridgeside today? Let's have a look. Okay, I've just been giving out cheese to people. People seem to like cheese. It's, it's quite a good gift. <laughs> yeah, everyone likes cheese, but now I have just wasted all my cheese. <gasps> Ooh, food looks so good. Spaghetti is so cheap here. Okay, I gave out loads of gifts. I think I might head back through the forest and see if there's any like winter forageables because we haven't really gotten any from Ridgeside yet. So it might be fun to see if there is any new ones. And I feel like I usually get them on the walk back from here. There might also be winter fish, so I should probably come fishing here at some point. Is there any forageables out here? No, just holly. That seems new. <gasps> A frost clump berry? That's definitely new. A strange berry that only seems to ripen when covered in snow? It tastes like grape with a hint of melon. That sounds delicious, honestly. This looks new. A Sierra wintergreen. A lovely flower to gift and decorate during the winter holidays. It gives you plus fishing? What are these? Richside clementine? Much like a regular clementine. The difference is it's nutty aftertaste. The cold winter climate and high altitude prevent this fruit from rotting too quickly. Why does it give us plus fishing? That's so odd. Okay, there's a lot of new forageables down here. That's so cool. Gonna grab as much forage as I can. Probably should chop some wood as well, since we used all of us up last time. Okay, I just spent a lot of time foraging and chopping down wood, so we have a bunch more now. It's a good use of our time always, to be honest. Let's head home now. Oh my gosh, we look so creepy in there. <laughs> That's terrifying. Okay, it's midnight already. I did want to do some decorating in this episode, but I don't know how much of that we're going to get done. I also want to move these kegs eventually too. And we can add all of these ridgeside forageables to our ridgeside chest now as well. Also, for some reason, we have fairy roses in here. I don't know why. And we also have our new wallpaper as well to play around with. Which room should have it? Ooh, should we put it in here? Oh, did not mean to turn that off. <gasps> Yay, little mushrooms. It looks so cute. And we can put this down here too. Matching set. That looks so nice. Okay, I'm glad with our purchases today. Ooh, we leveled up in foraging. We have the cookout kit and the rain totem. Nice. And um, our little measly funds. Don't look at that. Don't look at it. Don't perceive it. Okay, so it's a Monday and it's the day of the festival. So we're probably going to do the little festival of ice. We're going to try and win it, of course. Ooh, we have Evelyn. Good morning, dear. Hi, Evelyn. What's she got to say to us? I feel like this is getting the flower pot, maybe. Let's see. We can probably skip through most of this. I bought you a little something. Yeah, I think this is the flower pot. Yeah, thanks, Evelyn. I'm gonna have to skip, though. I've seen this a million times. Feels really bad skipping on a little old granny, but she'll forgive me, I'm sure. <gasps> what is this? Wait, oh, Flora. Oh my gosh, I was like, who is that? Dear Lil, I have recruited the participants and prepared all the necessary forms for the experiment on interactions between peers with contrasting interests. Gosh, that's a lot of really difficult words. I shall await you in my room at the hotel. Sincerely, Florabelle Hibisca. Is that her name? Florabelle Hibisca? That is the most beautiful name I've ever heard. Are you joking? Will I be Lil Hibisca if I marry her? Because yes, please. Can I be Lilabel Hibisca? Can I take the like end of her first name too? Is that allowed? Because I would like it. Thank you. Lilabel Hibisca. That's my new name from now on. I think I might use this garden pot and just plant a little a little sunflower in our house. We even have retaining soil. So I think I might plant this in our house real quick. I think it will look cute. Where could we put our little sunflower? 
Maybe in our bedroom somewhere. Maybe right here would be cute. Yay! I'll do a little water on it. That would be very cute once it grows. I feel like we definitely need to get a new cow because we only have a couple and I don't know if we're going to get enough in time. Honestly, the wool is the most worrying part though because we still don't have any. So it's not great. Thing is, I can't afford another rabbit or another sheep. So we're kind of stuck at the moment. And we're obviously not making any money from all of these eggs and stuff that we're getting yet. So I don't know if we're going to succeed this quest, honestly. Right, let's get started on chopping some hardwood. The Festival of Ice has began, but I can probably chop a little bit of hardwood first. And we'll make our way down there. We got a secret note from the tree stump there. Oh, that's just a vanilla one. Ooh, okay, we've got the Festival of Ice, but we can talk to all the other characters. Those ice sculptures look really good. I agree, Leah made them, right? Remember to keep track of your temperature. If you feel unwell, don't hesitate to approach me, Philip, or Dr. Harvey. Thanks, Paula. Oh, Blair's gonna love this. Good luck on the contest later. May the best fisher win. Hopefully I win. Which is me, of course. Yeah, sure, sure. Oh my gosh, I love this one. Who made this sculpture? It's the best one. I got Lewis to equip the poles with these more humane hooks. It seems like a small thing, but I'm glad he listened. Aw, oh my gosh, she's so sweet. Maddie, you look freezing right now. You must be so cold. You all know that one could die from hypothermia, right? Right? I just don't understand the point of all this. You look freezing. Why have you not got a coat on? Have you ever noticed how Willie and Lewis can walk on ice without slipping at all? I wonder how they do that. I wonder now. I did not notice this. I really need to change my mask. Look at me right now. The ice sculptures remind me of marble statues at the ballet theatre back in the city. I used to try to copy their poses when I was little. Aww. Mark my words. I'd really more than anyone else. Sure you would. Aww, look at the little piggy. Hi, Floor. I'm helping my kids build a snowman. Yeah, it really looks like it. I need to find the perfect branches for the arms. What do they have for sale? Ooh. Ooh, I want to buy things. I should get a pumpkin suit. And I want this icy rug. That's so nice. Okay, well, all I can buy really is a wool sconce and a winter end table. So I guess I'll get those. And I might as well get a cranberry sauce as well. It'd be rude not to. And maybe a stuffing. Oh my gosh, Lil, stop spending money. I literally can't buy anything else. So that stopped me, right? <laughs> That's the way to stop me is to just spend it all, I guess. <gasps> oh my gosh, torts. Are you okay, babes? Make snow turtle angel. Are you joking me? <laughs> Look at him right now. He is everything. That's so cute. Lewis has always liked this festival more than I ever did. So I'll just sit back and let him run it. Fair dues. I understand why they catch and release, but between you and me, I'd rather fry those fish up with some good seasoning the way I learned on Ember Island. Oh. Hey there, Lil. Hey there, Freddy. Freddy who lied to me and gave me way less money than you promised. Staying warm? Yeah, but not thanks to you, Freddy. Hmm. What are you humming about? He's staring intensely at the candy cane. Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh my gosh, Faye looks so cute back here. She looks like magical. I tried building a snowman, but it fell apart right away. I guess snow is harder to work with than cloth and sequins. I guess so. Yesterday was quiet and peaceful. Today, the ice creaks under the strain. Oh. Kiwi tried to catch fish. Kiwi has big head and little arms. <laughs> that is so cute. Not catch. Oh, Kiwi's sad. Fishes swim and bite, squirm and splash, and flop, flop, flop. Okay. Want to do a reenactment of all of that? Daya. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that mean? You want to pretend to be a fish? I mean, okay. <laughs> you do you, I guess. <laughs> okay, let's begin. Let's win. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Aw, Blair's not even taking part. That's so sad. <laughs> she should be. Contestants, your goal is to catch as many fish as you possibly can. Let's do it. Well, is everyone ready? I was born ready, Lewis. Begin. Okay, right. We got this. We got this. Oh my gosh. Can a fish bite, please? Hello? Finally. Oh, Pam just got one. Oh, I got seaweed. No. Seaweed doesn't count as a fish. Come on, game. Be fairer than this. <laughs> okay, got another one on the line. We're gonna win. How many do you have to get to win? Is it like five or something? Half the time's gone and we've only got two. Oh no, everyone else is getting them. Seaweed again? No. I'm stressed. I'm stressed. <laughs> okay, do I need one more after this? Okay, we might get it. <gasps> we got five. I think we did it. Did, did that count? Did that count? Oh my gosh, that better have counted. Are you joking me? 
Who won, Lewis? Just tell me. Wow, that's a lot of fish. The smell. <laughs> now for the winner. Hurry up, Lewis. Is it me? Please. Huh? I had five. I had five. I don't think I've actually ever lost this one when I've played solo. I demand a recount. I had five. Willy, you have now declared yourself an enemy of me. Willy is now my enemy. Well, that's it for this year's festival. Yeah, I shouldn't have bothered coming. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that. I definitely had five. I guess it just like, I was like a second too late or something. I didn't win the competition, but it was still fun. Yeah, sure it was. Well, at least we bought a load of stuff. So at least we made that correct decision. Let's put a sconce in the kitchen. Oh, that looks cute. That looks real cute. And can I put a side table here? <gasps> I can. That's cute. Can I put anything on it? Maybe our cranberry sauce for now. That's perfect. Let's go off to sleep. <gasps> Look at our little house. It's definitely coming together. I'm really loving our decorations we've done this episode. But on that sad and disappointing note, we are going to wrap up. I'm so sorry I lost that competition. Willie is now our enemy. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, everyone. Bye.